This video is brought to you by the Wireless RERC. Captioning is provided by AMAC. Hello, my name is Ben Lippincott. I'm a project leader focused on consumer education for the Rehabilitation Engineering Research Center for Wireless Inclusive Technologies. Known popularly as the Wireless RERC, one of our research areas is accessible emergency communications. This tutorial is intended to help people with disabilities understand what wireless emergency alerts are and how you can customize the emergency alert settings on your Android device so they are optimized for accessibility. So what is a wireless emergency alert? WIAs are government-issued emergency messages that appear as child abduction alerts, severe weather or civil emergencies, or presidential alerts that you receive on your mobile wireless device. If you are a person with a disability, it is vitally important that whenever you get a WIA alert, you are able to either hear, feel, or see the notification signals and read or have read to you the emergency information in the message. This video will highlight some of the useful features available on Android devices that may make it easier for you to access WIA messages. For this tutorial, I am using an Android phone running software version 8.1.0. Please note that some of these features may not be available on all Android devices, depending on your manufacturer or operating system. Let me show you what to do. Step 1. Locate the settings icon and tap to open it. This usually looks like a gear. Step 2. Locate the sound menu and tap it. You may have to scroll down to find it. Step 3. Locate and tap the advanced settings at the bottom of the sound menu. Next, locate and tap the Emergency Alerts menu at the bottom of the screen. You may have to scroll down to find it. Step 5. Once in the Emergency Alerts menu, you now have a variety of options to customize the alerts. Let's go through all of the available options shown on this screen. Turning on Allow Alerts enables all of the alert options. You can then turn off individual alerts to suit your individual needs. Under the Alerts heading, you have options for opting in or out of specific alert types, like Amber Alerts, Missing Child Alerts, Extreme Threats, Severe Threats such as Weather or Civil Emergencies, and an option that will show you a history of all the alerts you have received. Under the heading of Alert Preferences, you have options that could be considered accessibility features. Enabling these features can enhance the accessibility of alerts you receive. The first is Vibrate. This will enable the vibration motor of your device when you receive an alert. This will let you feel the device shake and could be helpful for someone who is deaf or hard of hearing to know when they receive an alert.
The second option is the alert reminder sound. This can be customized so that the alert sound can be set to trigger once, every two minutes, every 15 minutes, or set to off. The alert reminder sound might be helpful for someone with a vision impairment or someone who is hard of hearing, especially in situations where the phone is in another room in the house or in a bag or purse. The next section of customizable alert features is under the heading of developer options. These can be arranged in a number of ways. The first option is to opt in or opt out of test broadcasts for the earthquake tsunami warning system. The second option is to opt in or out of the test broadcast for the commercial mobile alert system. As a sidebar, the commercial mobile alert system, or CMAS, is the original name for WIA, though some manufacturers still refer to it as CMAS. Know that CMAS and WIA are the same thing. The Show Opt-Out Dialog setting will allow you to opt out of CMAS after the first alert, except presidential alerts, which everyone will always receive. Of particular importance for people with vision impairments is the next feature that enables the text-to-speech capabilities of the phone to speak the emergency message. This option is called the speak alert message. And the last feature in the list that might be especially useful for people that are hard of hearing or have visual impairments is called use full volume. This feature will ignore all other preset volume settings and speak the alert or trigger the alert reminder sound at your device's full volume setting whenever you receive a WIA message. That is a full rundown of the wireless emergency alerting features available on Google's Android operating system. I hope you find this information useful. People with disabilities are often left out of the loop during emergencies because of timely access to critical information is not universally accessible. Increasing the accessibility of emergency alerts can mean the difference between life and death. And always remember to verify the alert you've received on your device with another trusted source of information. These could be local news stations, TV, or radio broadcasts, their social media feeds on Twitter or Facebook, or their own websites or apps. Other helpful information on third-party verification sources and trusted apps can be found on our website at http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash apps for wea. And thank you for watching.
More information can be found at www.wirelessrerc.org. The contents of this video were developed under a grant from the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research. Neidler, grant number 90RE5025-01-00. Neidler is a center within the Administration for Community Living, ACL, Department of Health and Human Services, HHS. The contents of this video do not necessarily represent the policy of Neidler, ACL, HHS, and you should not assume endorsement by the federal government.